going guys? Grant here with Rise Magic. I'm here to teach you my move Kodo. It is way too loud. How's it going guys? Grant here with Rise Magic and today we are going to be teaching you a move that I came up with called Kodo. Now there's a swing cut variation that can be used repeatedly by itself or you can use it to lead into a flourish of your choice. I'm excited to teach it to you guys so let's get right into it. Alright, for the start of this tutorial you're just going to start off in this type of grip right here with your middle finger and your ring finger up on the top of the deck and your pointer finger extended. You're just going to execute a swing cut by pulling off one packet with your first finger and bringing it over like such and catching it in right in between your first finger and your thumb, pulling it off. You're going to do the same exact thing again, but connect to the bottom of that packet with your thumb and start to rotate that packet off. While you're rotating it, you're going to clip it in between your middle finger and your ring finger. And you're just going to use those fingers as well as your middle finger and your thumb to rotate that packet off like such. It'll take a little bit to get used to, but I know that you all will get it in just a couple tries. So just one more time, slow motion. I'm going to clip it in between your ring finger and your middle finger and use your middle finger and your pointer finger up here to rotate it forward. Grab on with your thumb and push your thumb through to bring it up and get it back level. Now as long as you have more packets in your right hand or your left hand, you can keep on going for however long you want. But if you have a uh, flourish that starts off with kind of like a seibel cut or Z grip. You can go right into that from this flourish very easily. Show that one more time. So right after you complete this little twirl, you can meet up with your thumb to the back of that packet and get it right into a Z grip with practically no effort whatsoever. You can go into a seibel, a seibel variation, or anything that you know that starts with a Z grip. So that'll be it for Kodo. Now in terms of the flow of this flourish, one thing that I will say is while you're executing this turn, you can keep this packet in your right hand. <laughs> Goodbye, bug. You can keep this packet in your right hand fairly still, but the flourish will look a lot better if you kind of kick out that packet with your hand by rotating it almost 100, turning it over 180 degrees and showing off the faces of the card as you execute the move. I'll give it a little bit more flair and movement and overall look a bit better. It's fun to hit. I know it is. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that move. I know it's pretty simple, but oftentimes they can be the most fun and practical. So if you have any questions with it, like always, leave a comment below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this, feel free to like the video and give us a subscription if you so desire.